Topsoil Athletics online fitness experience. Um, we hope you all enjoyed our first at home WOD. Um, today we have another one coming your way. Uh, this one we've actually dubbed the Juicy Pecs and Boulder Shoulders uh, workout. So this will get the upper body feeling a little bit more sore because my lower body is just destroyed after that first workout. So, uh, Sean's going to take it away from here. He's going to go through the, the warm up, the strength and skill portion for the day, and then the watt itself. And once we kind of go through what we have on the board here, we'll take you guys uh, through the movements themselves. Okay, Sean, take it away. All right, so uh, for our warm up today, we're going to be uh, starting again with a run, so 400 meter run or thereabouts. So, if, if you don't have a track and you're just kind of estimating, something that's going to take you about 90 seconds to two minutes to perform to get that heart rate. So we're starting with a 400 meter run, into 15 burpees, into a second 400 meter run, and then finishing with 10 walkouts. Um, as a substitute for the running, if you don't have access to the outdoors, you're doing this in your apartment or something like that, you can substitute in 120 double unders or uh, 60 jumping jacks, or again, something that's just gonna take you about that 90 seconds to two minutes to get that heart rate up, okay? Uh, that's going to be our warm up. After that, our strength slash skill for the day today is going to be in strict handstand push ups. So, we have five working sets of as many reps as you can do. So, five sets, max reps. After each set of five, give yourself about a two minute break before going into your next set. Okay? For uh, scales, if we do not have handstand push ups on the wall, we will be scaling to doing handstand push-ups with the feet elevated on a couch or a chair or a box or bench, whatever you have access to in order to elevate those feet and thinking about getting that upper body as vertical as possible. Um, if, we, uh, if that's still a little advanced, we can scale that back again to our head to floor press, inverting the body and doing uh, a similar kind of inverted push-up position on the floor. We'll go through that again. Uh, and instead of that, if we uh, want, we can also sub in a strict overhead press with your dumbbell or kettlebell. So max reps on one side and then max reps on the other side. After that, workout for the day is going to be five rounds. In that time, you're gonna, uh, you want to go through as fast as possible. Five rounds of 50 double unders or 50 mountain climbers. If you don't have access to the outdoors or skipping rope, you can do mountain climbers instead. So 50 double unders or 50 mountain climbers into 20 single arm floor press. Uh, that's 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. After that, 20 dumbbell or kettlebell pull throughs. Again, 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. We'll be alternating on that one each rep. We'll show you that. Uh, and then we're finishing with 10 burpees. So five rounds of that sequence for time. All right guys, that's the uh, at home one number two. Uh, one piece of advice that we want to give you guys before we leave your office, basically, if you're not sweating, you're not trying, okay? Alright guys, so now we're, we're going to take you through the uh, different movements that we're going to be doing and kind of what we're looking for when we're doing it. So, for our strength uh, slash skill, again, we're working on strict handstand push-ups. So Mike's going to start by showing you some strict handstand push-ups up on the wall, what we're looking for there. And what I got, guys, I'm sure that most of you don't have mats and we kind of need a little bit of protection for our head. You can choose to either use a pillow. What I did today is I just folded up a towel. I think we all have towels, so this is what I recommend just using for your head. So I would kick it up. So he's gonna come, bring his head down, make contact with the towel, up and press through, finishing with his head through and arms locked out completely. Also heels against the wall. So for our different scales, scaled option number one is going to be with his feet on the, uh, the chair here. All right, so focusing on getting the upper body as inverted as possible, really replicating that position we're looking for on the wall. From there, he's going to come down, meet the floor ahead of his hands, press up and head through again at the top. Alright, then if uh, that's still a little bit advanced, getting uh, our feet suspended up like that, the next scale down would be our head to floor press. Okay, I'll have to show you that. So again, with each of these scaled options, 
the, uh, the goal is to replicate that inverted position, really trying to get straight up and down in that upper body as much as you can. From there, he's going to bring his head out, make contact with the floor, come up, and then back through at lockdown. Scale option number three Ooh. is going to be our strict single arm dumbbell overhead press. So keeping the core tight, the rib cage down, just pressing up to lock out and then back down. And you can do this if you guys have a dumbbell or kettlebell. So if you're going to do it with the kettlebell, just remember you guys are going to get it on the back of the forearm. So the back of the forearm, in that groove between your forearm and your shoulder or bicep area. From there, as you press, turn so your palms facing forward, and then bring it back to that same start position. Okay? Okay. Okay? So that's going to be our strength slash skill. Now, after that, we're going to be going into our workout. The workout starts with 50 double unders, so double unders, or the same amount as single skips if we do not have double unders. However, I prefer to do mountain climbers versus single skips. So what our mountain climbers are going to look like is we're going to have the hands on the floor, jumping the feet forward and making contact with the floor when you bring that front foot forward. We're not just bringing them forward and keeping it off the floor, we're touching the floor each time, trying to get that knee up close to your elbow. And you're avoiding letting your hips hike up like this. I want you guys to try and keep them low in a push-up position. So even though I'm switching my feet, my hips stay at roughly the same height the whole time. All right, after that, he's going into his single arm floor press. For this, he's gonna use either his dumbbell or kettlebell, whichever one it is that you have. We're gonna be laying on the floor, other hand out for stability. You can have your legs out or you can have your knees bent with your feet flat on the floor. Try to stay square, bringing your elbow down, touching the floor, up, and press to the center. So you're gonna do 10 on one side and then 10 on the other side. And again, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, if you guys are using the kettlebell, just make sure you have it on the back of that forearm. And I find the easiest way to get this going is I'll put the kettlebell beside me, where I'm gonna be laying down. So I lay down with it in line with my shoulders, and I'm gonna lie on my shoulder here. Get my grip set first with the hand I'm gonna be pressing with. Other hand goes on top, and now I'm going to roll to my back, and as I roll to my back, I bring it towards my chest, and then press, and then that's how I get going. And then from there, arm up for stability, back of the arm touch the ground, and then press up. Bring the other hand up to help you guys bring it down to the ground with control. Okay? Safety first. After that, we're moving into 20 alternating pull-throughs. So, for this one, we're going to be in a push-up position with our dumbbell or kettlebell over to one side, okay? We're going to reach through with the other arm and drag across to the other side, put the hand down, and then switch arms, pull through. So 20 reps alternating. Do it with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. If you're somebody that's going to be doing this in your apartment or something, you can try just putting your dumbbell or kettlebell on a, floor, uh, a throw pillow so it slides a little bit easier and you're not banging it on the floor pissing off your neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, 10 burpees. We all know how to do burpees. Burpees. All right. Burpees. So that is workout number two, juicy pecs and boulder shoulders. Go get that pump. Enjoy, guys. Just remember, if you're not sweating, you ain't trying.